Using hardware description languages in TINA Part 3. Creating analog components with Verilog A. Hardware description languages are powerful tools to describe and simulate complex electronic devices. In this tutorial video, we will show you how you can create a macro from a Verilog A.VA code and use Antina. You can create macros from VHDL, Verilog, and Verilog AMS files in a similar way. You can create a macro from any .vhd, .v, .va, .vams file that contains an entity, interface to the outside world, with its architecture, description of the hardware. The meaning of the file extensions is as follows. Files with the .vhd extension are VHDL files. Files with the .v extension are Verilog files. Files with the .va extension are Verilog A files, and the files with the .vams extension are Verilog AMS files. The ports declared in the interface part will automatically appear in the macro symbol, shape. By default, the input ports of the interface will appear on the left side of the generated macro shape, and the output ports of the interface will appear on the right side. But by editing the generated macro, you can change this arrangement. Let's demonstrate the details. Open Tina. Click the Tools menu. Select New Macro Wizard. Type a name for the new macro. In our case, JFET1. Change the settings from Current Circuit to From File. Click the Open icon. Select Tina Examples. Open the Examples and then the Verilog A folder. Change the file type to .va. Open the Device Models folder, then select the jfet.va file and click Open. Press the Next button. You can either select the Auto Generate shape or you can load a shape from the library. Let's first select the Auto Generate Shape option. Then click Next. Check the interface line. Change the orientation of D into Up and S into Down. You can also browse the Verilog A code. Click Next. And save the macro, jfet1.tsm, into the default macrolib folder. You can insert the macro by pressing the Insert button or you can select the Insert Macro from the menu. Click the Insert button. The macro will be attached to your cursor. Place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Let's demonstrate the case when you select the Load Shape from the Library option. Click the Tools menu. Select New Macro Wizard. And let's name the new macro as JFET2. After selecting the JFET.TSM file, press the Next button. Select the TINA ICS folder. Find the JFET symbol by clicking the long vertical button and then using the scroll bar.
click Next. Check to make sure the DGS symbol pins are properly connected with the lowercase DGS macro parameters. If not, you can easily update the connections by dragging the connection labels. In our case, no changes are needed. Click Next. Then the Insert button. Place the macro on the workspace. By double-clicking the macro, then pressing the Enter Macro button, you can check its content. The content of the macro appears. Now close the HDL Editor window of Tina. Let's create the following circuit to test the new transistor model. Select the voltage source and the voltage generator from the Sources toolbar. Next, select the current arrow from the Meters toolbar, then rotate it. Click the Insert menu. Select Macro. Select User Macros. Select the JFET2.TSM then click Open. The Verilog A macro will be attached to your cursor. You can place it on the workspace. Draw the wires to connect the components. Double-click the labels to rename them. And you can also replace the labels if necessary by dragging it while it is selected. Let's test the circuit by running analysis. DC analysis. Click analysis on the toolbar. Select DC analysis and then DC transfer characteristic. The DC transfer characteristic dialog box appears. Check to make sure the parameters under the Main Sweep tab are as shown on the screen. Note that TINA also allows nested sweep in the DC transfer characteristic analysis, which makes the calculation of device characteristics easier. Click the Nested Sweep tab and check the parameters shown on the screen. According to these parameters, 9 ID versus VG curves will be calculated with nine different VG values, including VG equals minus two and VG equals zero as well. Click OK to run the DC analysis. Our test circuit works as expected. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based multi-language installation free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.